A very good morning from a grey and changeable St Peterport. This is show control on the seaward side of Castle Cornet, overlooking the Little Russell with the yellow boys marking the display line. And we are just moments away from the start of the 2021 display. Yes, over the next couple of hours, the skies above Guernsey's East Coast will be alive with the sounds of aircraft spanning decades of aviation history. From the powerful muscle biplane with its heritage that can be traced right back to the early days of flight, through the iconic World War II Spitfire, to the mighty roar of the RAF Typhoon, and not forgetting the jaw-dropping aerobatic choreography of the world-famous RAF Red Arrows. We are set for another spectacular aerial display in the sky with some breathtaking and speaker-shattering sounds. Let's take you now live to the commentator for the Blades, Tony Doyle. But due to the weather today, the low cloud, the team will be forming a flat show. A flat show is determined when the cloud base is under 1,500 foot, and we are very fortunate that we have special permission from the CAA that allows us to perform our display with a cloud base as low as 800 feet. It certainly helps us with the fabulous British weather. So here is Andy leading the team into the box. So the smoke is on, there goes the break right in front of us here at Castle Cornet. Pulling up away from us now, they will now perform synchronised rolls. Banking round along the display line, smoke on. Here come the blades again. This is slightly adapted from the original version. Blade one now flying inverted at the front of the formation while blades two and three working hard on the rudder to demonstrate the unnatural way to fly. Blade four then rolls around the smoke created by the other pilots. As we look to our left, you'll see blades one, two and three approaching. Blade 1 rolls and turns simultaneously. Blades 2 and 3 will barrel roll around Blade One's smoke, trying to match each other at the top and the bottom of each roll. If you look to the right, look to the, uh, the south, down towards uh, Jersey, along the Little Russell comes the Poseidon, the P8 Poseidon. Just coming into our view now in front of us here at uh, Castle Cornets. Let's look out across the Little Russell. If you look towards Herm, just across the top of the trees at Herm, you can just see coming into view now the RAF Chinook. You can hear that distinctive rumble coming yes, in. I absolutely. love that, love that sound. Those blades, are th the, the tips are going supersonic at times, the air over the top, so that's often, that's what... Hear you, but when, <laughs> when you wave, and it is, it is, this is impressive, isn't it? it uh, just to describe what's happening now, right in front of our very eyes, is he is flying sideways. Yeah, we can just see him off in the, the distance there. There is a shower coming in off, um, way off to the, the, the north at the moment, so keeping a close eye on that as well as we prepare for the start of this display. Let Heading back down now towards us. Banking round across the mouth of the harbour, displayed by the harbour dory there. Down the central display line. So it's going to be at the end. I suspect he's going to save that going vertical to the end and we'll see him disappear. fighting capability around the world and displaying for us here in Guernsey today as the sun comes out passing from north to south you're at Castle Cornet we're watching the 2021 Guernsey air display and it is the Marshall biplane which uh, came in from the south after holding 
towards uh, the coast at Boar Avenue and starting this fantastic display. This is Rich Goodwin in the powerful, the exciting, the breathtaking muscle biplane. There he goes, pulling up into another loop. Loop after loop, he's pulled in this powerful, versatile aircraft, smoke on, billowing out of the back. And this is one of his uh, favourite manoeuvres, this one, where he looks like he's falling back through his smoke again, tumbling out of the sky. He looks like he's out of control, but this guy is a precision oh, does, flyer. Because he's got to come out pointing the right way. There's no point in pointing at the bail when he's supposed to be heading back towards the castle, is it? Smoke back on again. He's already got two aircraft. Um, we saw the red one display here in previous years. This is the, his blue aircraft, which he's been working on. He built it himself, actually. Yeah. He started um, building aircraft at the age of eight. Just model aircraft, like we all did, you know, the old <laughs> airfix. And here he is now building his aircraft, which he has the huge pride of um, displaying at air shows around the UK and further afield. Here we have it, the Spitfire that distinctive sound and silhouette of this famous, iconic World War II aircraft. Flying high above the sky here, across the little Russell. He's currently the chief pilot and flies the Heritage Flight Spitfire through the display season. Delighted to have him here in Guernsey today. And this is the Starlings, the aerobatic display team. First time in Guernsey. Tom and Michael, both former national aerobatic champions, flying in unison out of that loop and back now down towards the central part of the display line. So the first part of this display that we're seeing today, demonstrating some of the formation aerobatics, capturing some of what the team can do well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not long now. The jets are ready, the smoke systems are primed, the pilots are ready, it's almost time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Red Arrow! As the aircraft roll out down the line from north to south, Reds 8 and 9 about to move back into position. Rolling back into our iconic trademark Diamond 9 formation. The smoke coming off as the aircraft adopt this formation. Upside down the aircraft go. Glorious Diamond 9 formation. Upside down at two and a half thousand feet over the water here in Guernsey. Red One using a very metronomic cadence on the radio. The aircraft and the pilots are reacting to the rhythm and the tone of his commands. And roll! And roll calls Red One. Big Vixen going upside down, trailing the white smoke. The red aircraft standing out well against the white clouds here over the water. Our board sings Red 9 as Reds 8 and 9 start to roll around the rest of the formation. Red 1 about to bank the aircraft to the left, the smoke colour changing as they go in Tornado. Reds 8 and 9 matching their roll rates around the rest of the formation, staying 180 degrees out from each other. That red and blue smoke standing out so well against the white skies. The aircraft running in towards us, the smoke about to come on. Get your cameras ready for the first dynamic split of the display. It's time for Detonator. Break, break, go for Enid, calls Red One. Here they go with the white smoke. Now keep your eyes on the red and blue smoke. A little bit left now, calls Red One as Enid section comes towards us. Easing away in the left hand turn. On the right hand wing of Enid is Red Four, White Lieutenant James Turner. Red 6 and 7 will dip wings towards each other, change to red and blue smoke in the opposition barrel. Oh, 
On the left of Red 1 in this formation is Red 3 squadron leader Nick Critchell. Critch has previously flown the Typhoon on the front line. Clear go, call 2 and 3, the signal for 4 and 5 to roll. Red, white and blue smoke about to change to white as red one eases up, taking Enid into the second of the Python barrel rolls. Now look straight out in front of you, the other aircraft turning in for the show finale. It's time for the very colorful, very dynamic Vixen break. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching The Red Arrows! Well, thank you for watching us. It's been great to be back here displaying for you. A great atmosphere on the ground. Wonderful to see so many people here. And all that remains for me to do is to wish you all the very best from the Royal Air Force and from all of us in The Red Arrows.